Hi, my name is Crystal Rose. I'm at the Cannes Film Festival. 20 years ago, I had no money, but decided to borrow, got into a lot of debt, produced my own pilots for a talk show, which was eventually commissioned by Carlton TV. Now I'm trying to produce my first feature film, which I've also written. Problem is, I still haven't got any money. Can it be done? How do you make a movie when you have no money? My pitch for Never Say Never is, when a single successful woman sets herself a goal to marry within a year, she's not prepared for the man she ends up falling for. What a tangled web we weave when first we practice to get married. I think that it's interesting to do a film, how to make a film with no money, because everybody has watched a movie. Everybody either gets excited by the fact that they're watching a movie or can envisage themselves in a role in the movie. So everyone's interested in movies. It doesn't matter what country you live in, doesn't matter about your age, your background. And so in that respect, how do you do it? How do those people do it? I even heard Steven Spielberg this morning saying every film that he's done has been a risk. I can't understand that, but yes, of course it is a risk. I always take massive risks. I you know, sold everything I had in order to finance my pilots for a talk show that I did in London. And hey, I've written a fabulous script. In order to get it from script to screen, I've got to do all of the work, and so I'm, I'm duty bound to do it. Why would people want to listen to you? What, what is it that you've got that other people haven't got? And, and I'm alluding to the fact that you're uh, attractive uh, glamorous. Do you think that's going to help you in your, your quest to conquer Cairn? I think that if attractive is what I am um, and glamorous is what I am, then that ne won't necessarily be a bonus because can and the film industry in itself is glamorous and attractive. I think that where I'm going to really make a mark is certainly by being assertive. I've got to get out there. Listen, if we pass on the streets to the Spielberg, we're having a conversation. I am going to be going as far as I can in order to get to the people that I need to, in order to get the advice, in order to get great footage, you know. Mm. Um, so you started in television with no experience and you poured everything into it and it was a success. You think you're going to replicate that success in the film business? The right? aim the aim of my... I actually live in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm now in Cannes via London. The only reason I've decided to pour the rest of my... the last of my savings into doing this is because I know it will be a success. And so in order to get it to the end stage where we actually have a film that's delivered, I have to put in the work, put in the effort and have a compassion and a knowledge and belief, an absolute 100% belief that it will get made. Right, I'm about to phone Meg Ryan's agent. They, she's been saying forever that she likes the script. Um, Meg Ryan's been travelling. She was back on the 11th of May, so I'm going to place the call and see whether we have a superstar in the lead role. <laughs> Jude Law just person, personally told me never to give up. Um, don't take no for an answer. Hello? Is Su Susan Bywell's up. Hello? Is Susan Bywell's office? Right, hi, this is Crystal Rose calling regarding the Never Say Never project for Meg Ryan. Thank you. Hold on. Can, well, I'm in, yeah, sure. The number here, shall I give you a number for me? Zero one one four four nine seven nine three two. No, 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 not the first nine. Seven nine three two four one three one one one. I'm presently at Cannes. I really would love to get an answer today. Do you think because I was told Meg Ryan was going to be back on the 11th of May? She hadn't been able to read it beforehand, but do you know what the situation is, whether she's read it and has it come back, or have they given her the script yet? Okay, thank you. Thanks, bye-bye. They'll call me back today, they promise. Michael Moore va être accueilli comme tous les invités du festival par son président, Monsieur Gilles Jacob.
Et vous découvrez sur le grand écran du palais Monsieur Harrison Ford. Stop running away from us. Stop trying to keep up with Usain Bolt. But you just said this is never going to work. Marry me. What? <laughs> Marry me. Have you been dreaming? Well, no. We have you, John. It's not about time. It's about how someone makes you feel. You're twenty-seven. I asked if you'd marry me. Not for a personal profile. I don't want to make a fool of myself. Not very wise, but I'm doing a pretty good job right now. I've got a daughter. I'm not asking her. I want you. And I'd like to spend every day in Jimmy Choo's, but sometimes we just have to be sensible. And sometimes we give in to temptation. Flick in bed. We just click. Marriages are about so much more than sex, Flick. How do you mother react? She'll come around. And then be my daughter, will And I've got a career. So? You want kids. I don't want anyone. Don't say that we're adopt. Anyway, between the daughter and Ange, I think they've snapped up all the spare ones. So we won't have any. Then, then you'll regret it, and then you'll start resenting me. I haven't heard so many excuses since I caught my mom hiding behind a bush. Look. I'm willing to give up kids if that's what you want. What do you want? Never plan out love, never mess with fate. When it comes to love, you just can't dictate. Life's a rolling tide, just enjoy the ride. Trust in God above, never too late for love. Thought 